Hello and welcome to another Bold Link Soup. Today we are going to be looking at VI. Uh, now VI is a bit more advanced than you know and get it, and some of you might not like it. It's very awkward to use at first, however, it is found on just about every Unix system. It's very, very common on Linux. I can only think of a handful of distributions that might not have it by default, but it is in just about every distro and sometimes VI might be your only text editor choice in some circumstances. Now, if you're just a casual user sticking to distros like Ubuntu, then it might, it probably won't happen. But I'm going to teach you the basics of it at the very least, just in case it does happen, so that you're not stuck, because if you just jump into it, you're not going to figure it out. It takes some reading up on it and some practicing. So I'm going to use NVI to use uh, the VI VI behavior. There is a difference between VI and Vim. I'm going to be looking at VI today. Um, Ubuntu has the Vim common Vim runtime stuff, and that can uh, make some stuff easier in VI, like being able to use the arrow keys. And that's why I'm using NVI, because a lot of the time, stuff like the arrow keys won't work. If you want to move, you have to uh, use the movement hotkeys in movement mode. So I'll just uh, make a text file then, NVI. On NVI VI, I'm not really sure if there's a huge difference. I'm just trying to get that bare bones VI behavior, so I'm going to be using NVI for this, but let's just try to exit edit text.txt. So first things first, I press I to enter insert mode, then I can start typing. Then I press escape when I'm done typing, and let's say I want to save colon W, then if I want to quit, it's colon Q. Now let's say I want to save and quit, I can do that in one fell swoop, colon WQ, It'll write and then quit. An alternate way of saving and quitting is colon X, and that'll do it in one motion as well. You can use whatever. Um, if I edit a file, then I can't quit because it's been modified. So I use a exclamation point, so colon Q exclamation point, to override, and that will override and make you quit anyways. It's basically you can quit without saving your changes. Now, let me just add a few more lines. So, in order to move around, I need to be in movement mode. Uh, J is down, K is up, L is right, and H is left. Now here's uh, a way you can remember this. Um, J, the hook of the J points down. L is the rightmost key for uh, your up, down, left, right movement, so that goes to the right. H is to the left. And you got one key lock K with one direction up, so that's K. So H, J, K, and L. Um, you'll notice that if I like uh, go to the end of the line, line here, see? Insert mode enters insert mode on the cursor where it currently is. And you notice it's in front of that T. So I need to move the cursor to the right. So I can press an A, and it'll enter insert mode, but it'll move the cursor to the right. And then uh, I can start typing. Uh, then escape to go back to movement mode. Um, you will undo one change, then redo it. Vim has infinite undos, but VI does not. So undo, redo, undo, redo. So be careful. Um, again, colon Q exclamation point to get out of there in case you edit yourself into some sort of mess. Um, let me see. Yeah, the arrow keys aren't going to work in this. They work left. Mm, it might. They don't 
always work. I've been in situations where uh, the arrow keys don't work, so make sure you know the movement hotkeys. Arrow keys seem to work here, but not always the case. Um, what else? Uh, just trying to give you the very basics first. I um, think that's about it. Alright, that's the basics for now. I'll dive into a bit more. Oh, um, colon allows you to execute commands to the text editor, so what you might want to do is set show mode. That way you can see where you are. I'm in movement mode, or it says command here off to the right. Now watch this right here. I'm press I. I'm in insert mode. Press escape. Command. And then it's pretty obvious what the colon does, and I'll explain this in another video. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for another one.